Hello, friends and family from around the world. Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 14th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Much love and hope you enjoyed some quality and special time with your loved one. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun. This is the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. We got a couple M class solar flares to talk about. You can see the flashy regions, Earth facing. Looking at the last 48 hours, incoming tall plasma prominence swirling and dancing around the surface of the sun and then snapping away, creating a pretty large coronal mass ejection set to give us a glancing blow. Looking at outgoing here, pretty active regions. And there's that fast growing sunspot right in the center there. Did produce an M-class solar flare last night. And we've seen a couple throughout the day from incoming regions. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events and notable regions to watch. We've also got the coronal hole, which is Earth facing and now increasing our solar winds. They're up almost 600 kilometers per second right now. Looking at another light, all these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide, active sunspot regions turning into view. Watch for the M flares. And here's a look at those sunspot regions in motion. Notable cresting into view on the left hand side, a pretty large black hole. Going to be an interesting sunspot coming in for the earth facing party let's have a look at sunspots now as we have seven that are earth facing 3990 on watch 3992 on watch as well but 3993 is a big one turning into view current space weather conditions we are under r1 level one minor radio blackout and as well level one geomagnetic storm impacts Solar winds are coming in at 508 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing three M-class solar flares since last night's update. And as well, multiple strong C flares. So under R1, minor radio blackout impacts, geomagnetic activity, KP5 throughout the day today. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing the most recent CME taking off from the sun. As I said, giving us, giving us a glancing blow the 16th, but it was more in a southern fashion, so it's probably going to go more southward underneath Earth. Iswa showing the same thing. Taking off right for Venus. And giving us a glancing blow on the 16th. So 48 hours from now. Having a look at Alaska 3, wide spectrum, showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun. And as well, Mercury has finished its retrograde. If you're enjoying all these images shared and as well the information, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Maybe share with your friends and family. Here's tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's very prevalent tonight across Canada and as well Alaska. Now let's get to earthquakes. Large 6.0 magnitude earthquake reported here in Ethiopia. Metahara, 6.0 magnitude earthquake, Ethiopia. This is right by the Fantail volcano, which awakened just after Christmas. Showing their volcano discovery about three hours ago. 6.0 magnitude earthquake at the Fantail volcano. And just north, there's the other one, Defan, that has awakened. But look at the size of the crater of Fantail, just northwest of where this earthquake occurred. Large magnitude shaker, right after an earthquake warning video. Go figure. Minor activity and eruption since December 29th. We've also got... Etna, who wildly erupted overnight, nine separate eruptions since February 12th. 
over the past 48 hours been a very active volcano. Same with Stromboli on the 10th. And then all this activity in Greece still carrying on. The earthquakes have since calmed down, but I think that has something to do with the release here on the African plate. Carrying on here around the rest of the world, Romania 4.3, pretty deep though, and that was reported yesterday. It's quiet across Eurasia right now. Activity definitely coming back to the West Pacific and the Philippines plate. 5.3 being the largest in the Philippines, but literally from Krakatoa all the way to Papua New Guinea, earthquakes are rocking our planet. Deepest being a 576 kilometer depth earthquake reported yesterday. Notable earthquake here after the update last night, 5.8 earthquake, Alaska. As well, North American plates still seeing activity, 4.3. Evanol, California reported today, and as well, 3.7 earthquake, Victoria, Canada. Right in the middle of Victoria, right on the plate line. Many earthquakes right on major fault lines and plates. Look at all this activity along the Caribbean and as well into the Cocos Plate. So volcanoes are popping off. We got 76 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. And now we've got all this seismic activity rocking our planet around major fault lines. Cratons. Get ready, folks. Be aware and prepared. The shift is happening. Solar cycle 25 is a big deal. And there's a big reason why our governments back in 2015 developed Agenda 21 or Agenda 2030 because they know what's coming to our planet by 2030. Big changes. It's going to have a lot to do with earthquakes, volcanoes, and then our world weather. Heads up, North American plate still under earthquake watch now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes in which there are 76 notable large plumes here over Kilauea as well coming out of China and Kamchatka eastern Russia looking around Southeast Asia Australia South Africa notable plumes there all through Indonesia and as well look at eastern Australia Overlooking the Mediterranean with that large eruption at Mount Etna. Now having a look at world weather, overlooking North America, we do have a winter storm coming in for Ontario tomorrow and into the day after, but some very strong and blizzard-like conditions will be pounding the eastern seaboard, North America, and then up into Iceland. Watch for extreme weather to be barreling out of the Gulf of Mexico, and then blizzard-like conditions for the Atlantic provinces in the long-range forecast here. Some pretty cold weather still funneling down from Siberia. Drier conditions prevailing through Europe. Overlooking Africa and Australia, you've got that cyclone over northwest region and as well multiple lows affecting South Africa this week. Australia, watch for extreme weather to break out all across northern regions with multiple lows and some very warm temperatures. Strong low affecting Tasmania in the long range and as well northern parts of New Zealand. But watch through South Africa, multiple lows this week. Watch for flash floodings. Going to leave you here overlooking the northern Pacific. Multiple lows coming through this week. Rain train and snow event for higher elevations all along the coast. I did to produce the snow forecast models as some parts of Alaska will be receiving upwards of 500 centimeters of snow. And look at all these lows pounding into the BC coastline for the long range. The rain train is on your doorstep for the West Coast. Lots of moisture coming in. Watch for 
heavy snowfalls all through California. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds depicting our polar vortex as it is being severely affected by a strong high over the Pacific Ocean. Some wicked winds up there right now. Fastest wind speeds, 348 kilometers per hour. As the solar winds are pounding us at over 500 kilometers per second. Just look at all that cold air coming from Siberia. Amazing times to be alive, and thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of this family. Let's have a look at last year at this time, what our polar vortex looked like. As it was completely split at this time last year. And it's about to do that real soon. As we embark into spring over the next Three weeks, really. Daily events worldwide anniversary coming up March 20th, which is actually the first day of spring. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily dupe.